This is amazing. Now we're going to see about AI powered forms. So when you take a form, it'll contain multiple fields to fill. So filling this form or any kind of form, they are generally manual process. Large forms are really hard to fill and it's time consuming. But when you consider AI powered form, AI will help you to fill the form. In that way, you can automate the process of form filling. It's easy to fill the form and also it's time saving. As an example, let's consider creating a project proposal form. So ultimately, a form need to be filled, which is project proposal. So the government looking for proposal to complete a project. So they have a list of requirements. So the form knows that requirement. My company provide a list of services and that services will be fed to the AI form. So using requirements and the list of services, the form can be automatically filled and then we can submit that to the government for any project proposal. Ultimately, you'll have a form like this, which is the project proposal creation form. So you can upload a file, that is the requirements form. I can just say, create me an introduction and then click submit. This will automatically start creating the introduction, which I can use to complete the form. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about AI powered forms. When you consider this project proposal use case, you can easily automate this process. Without the AI powered form, you need to manually go through those documents, manually create proposal. It's tedious and it's time consuming. But after adding AI to the mix, it can automatically go through the documents, automatically create proposal. It's easy and quick. I've partnered with Vectorshift to create this. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can create this whole system and finally automate your forms implementing it on your website and also going through the pipeline on how to create this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. You can get started with Vectorship for free. Use Mervin Prisoner's coupon code to get 20% off. Now log into this. So considering this architecture, first we are going to provide the information or the services provided by the company. So coming to the portal, there is an area called knowledge base. There you can click new and going to name the knowledge base and click create. Then I can upload document by clicking add document, choose files, browse files. And now the document got uploaded and click finish. That's it. We have completed the first step. Next, we need to create this form. So here you got the pipelines, click that and create new pipeline. You can create the pipeline from scratch or you can use a pre-built template. In my case, I'm going to use pipeline from scratch. So this is how it's going to look like in the beginning. You've got various options and components to add, such as the input, large language model to use, knowledge base, and much more. You can click this input to get this input. That is the first step. And adding the knowledge base and linking the knowledge base, and also choosing the knowledge base, that is the uploaded company services information. Now adding the OpenAI large language model, and providing the instruction and the context is from the knowledge base. And the system prompt is that you receive a RFP and a set of instruction and context. So those are the company requirements for the proposal. And based on that, it's going to answer in professional manner. Now adding another input, those are the requirements from the company and linking to the large language model or AI. So this is the second input. The first input is the knowledge base. Second is the requirements input. Here is the knowledge base, here's the requirements, both fed into the large language model, finally adding the output like this. That's it, as simple as that. One input to ask the question, then we have the knowledge base and the requirements. The large language model is going to process that and give us output. After this, click deploy changes. And if you want to test it, you can click play, then you can test it here. Write me an introduction and clicking run. Now you can see it's automatically writing me an introduction for the project proposal. I can now deploy this by clicking this icon, export pipeline, form, giving a name for my form, Mervin Prison Project Form and Create Form. Now this will come to this page. You can modify this layout based on your requirements. Once you're happy with this, click the export icon and you will have the URL. I can open the form directly like this and here is the form. Now I can upload the requirements from the company or any company like this and then ask is to create an introduction with unique selling points and click submit. Now you can see it automatically created the introduction with unique selling points. 
In this way, you can easily automate the process. You can also publish this in your internal website. Just copy the iframe, go to your website and edit it, and you can paste that here and click save. And then you'll be able to see the form in the front end. So in this way, all your employees in your company can use this form to easily fill any forms. This is just an example, but you can easily modify this based on your requirements. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.